I thought Michael Kay had a great question to Cameron Maben during the game. He said, would you rather face a guy throwing 100 or a guy like Cortez? He said, I'd rather face the guy throwing 100. You know what you're getting. With Cortez, it can be a mystery. And I think that's the biggest thing. When you see those pitches breaking, Jack, you're, he, the, the thing about him is, if he had a little bit of success last year, you would have said, well, it was all just a mirage. But it wasn't because he consistently keeps the ball off the barrel of the bat and puts it on guys' hands because of how much movement he gets. I say this all the time that I've turned it into a cliche, but managers and pitching coaches love to know what they're going to get out of a pitcher. They need consistency. They want to know when they give you the ball, you're going to give them X. Cortez is that, exactly as you just described. He was that for the Yankees last season, so much so that I think some people would have thought, well, is Cortez going to be in the rotation? Or are they going to use him as a swing guy between the rotation and the bullpen? He's earned his way into that rotation. Talking to Aaron Boone in the offseason, he said, this guy is the real deal. This guy goes out there with a plan. He executes his plan. And the other thing about Cortez, Bob, is that the confidence has grown. I'm sure he would say that he always believed in himself. But once you've had the success doing what he has been doing, suddenly he's an even more confident pitcher. I mean, bottom line, he's kind of a disruptive force, right? If he's in the rotation and you're throwing in a three-game series, Garrett Cole, maybe he lines up in the second game and then Luis Severino after. I mean, what a great wrinkle to throw in there that would just baffle hitters. Yeah, managers and pitching coaches over the years, you want to have the hard thrower followed by the funky guy. So say Pedro Martinez to Tim Wakefield, then to another hard thrower. That's who Cortez can be for the Yankees. You spot him in there right before the team is going to face Garrett Cole the next day. And it's just two totally different looks. He's slinging it from over here. He's quick pitching guys. He's throwing an array of arm angles at them. He really is a, a fun pitcher to watch. And though you would tell kids to watch Garrett Cole for everything that he does, not every kid's going to grow up to throw 100 miles an hour. But there are a lot of kids who can adopt some of those funky moves and the trickery that Cortez uses. All right, this might be kind of an open-ended question, but a few years back, Luis Severino was a legit number two rising to be an ace. Is he a legit number two now? Do the Yankees know what he is? I think he's written in as the number two starter in pencil, Bob, because of those injuries. He only has 18 innings pitched over the last few years, and it's hard to rely on a guy to throw 150 to 170 innings when he simply hasn't done it for the last couple of years. Obviously, injuries have sidetracked him. They have derailed him. But in listening to Aaron Boone talk about Severino this spring, he feels that he is a guy who is more built up than any pitcher right now. He has no innings limitations. I thought the other day I was impressed with his velocity, that he came out and was throwing as hard as he was. Was the location where he needed it to be? No. And that's something that's going to have to come. But he wasn't out there throwing 91 or 92. He was throwing 97 to 99. That's who Severino is. That's who he needs to be. So though the line wasn't great from his first start, right. I thought the velocity was. Now it's about harnessing those pitches. All right. Though uh, Jordan Montgomery expected to be part of the rotation coming up. Been one of their most consistent pitchers. But, Jack, it seemed like last year he took some major strides in terms of being a guy that can go deeper into games and a guy that you can trust with the ball to figure some things out during a game. I thought Jordan Montgomery had a season in which if the Yankees had given him a little offense, that season would have looked a lot better than it did. And you've heard David Cohn talk about Montgomery, and even John Flaherty has said this. He has so many different pitches that he likes to go to, often throwing four different, five different types of pitches, 15% or more. Sometimes early in games, you've got to focus in on what's working for you then. Because one of the issues with Montgomery was struggles in that first inning. And Andy Pettit won over 250 games in the major leagues. And after his career was over, he said to me, I, I worried about every first inning. I worried about getting through that first inning because if I did that, I could exhale. And I knew I was on a little bit of a path to having a good game. Montgomery is that kind of pitcher. If he can get through that first inning, make that a smooth sailing, he makes himself that much better a pitcher. All right, so did the Yankees see enough of Luis Heel last season to think he can either crack that rotation or have a big impact in some way consistently with the 2022 team? They are excited about him, Bob, for most of the numbers that you see on that graphic right there. The opponent's batting average, the strikeout total and that amount of innings averaging over a strikeout an inning. But the walk total is what jumps out at you with heel. It's an electric arm. The ball explodes out of his hands. He is not a comfortable at bat.
but it's about being able to throw those pitches for strikes. Spoke to Aaron Boone about him in the offseason as well, and he said he's a guy that you can dream on, but he is definitely a guy who needs to throw strikes more consistently. That was the knock on him in the minor leagues. But, Bob, when we watched him last year, another thing that impressed me, Heel came up to the major leagues as if he'd been in the majors yeah. for five years. This guy was not worried at all. There was no fear about him. And I think that's a big part of having success at this level, too.